Hi, this is George, and today I want to talk with you about increasing your financial skill through the concept of buffers. Some people call this financial savings goals, uh, such as saving for a vacation or saving for a new car. Um, I like to use the concept of buffers. Um, buffers are a natural, they create a natural minimum so that psychologically you have the motivation to keep those as reservoirs uh, you know to maintain a sense of financial well-being now I'm not saying that if you don't have those buffers you're not financially well but I am saying that as you save as you make progress towards savings the, for those buffers you you come to a new level of financial skill where if you ever start dipping into the buffers that you want to keep as reservoirs you will feel a natural it's very strange but our our minds are perhaps our subconscious minds uh, create this natural motivation and natural uh, energy to make sure those buffers are okay. So a couple of examples of buffers that I have are a car emergency buffer, which is, um, you know, if the car breaks down, uh, we want to have a couple thousand dollars there to, uh, in case we need to fix the car. Uh, or another buffer is a travel emergency buffer. So if I ever need to suddenly go see my parents or see family members, it's nice to have a couple thousand dollars there um, so that that can happen if, if, if it comes to that, right? If it needs, if it's, that's necessary. Um, so what I'm going to do is, as part of the notes for this video, I will include a list of buffers that I recommend. And the key I want to suggest about, about creating progress in these is that it's not about feeling bad if you don't have such buffers. Give yourself a goal of, of creating and maintaining these buffers so that you have clarity about what your financial security means. Clarity. And it's not, a lot of people have this sense of, oh, I want to make a million dollars or whatever it is, then I'll be financially secure. And it's, the mind doesn't really believe it. And if your mind doesn't really believe that you need a million dollars to feel secure, you don't have the natural motivation and energy to create that. But if you, if you are clear about, okay, I need, I need $3,000 in case my car breaks down, right? Or I need $2,000 for a travel emergency buffer or whatever, or dental emergency buffer, for example. When you're clear about those things, your mind says, yes, that makes a lot of sense. And it will give you the natural motivation and energy to, to, to make progress towards those. So progress is key here. So if you can save away, if you can get clear on those buffers and then save away $10 per month for each of your important buffers, that is progress and that's a win. You, you, you celebrate that. So you make sure your monthly goals for savings for those buffers are really realistic and doable so that every time you do save $10 for your car emergency buffer or whatever is doable for you, you feel a sense of success every month you do that and that you, yes, you are making progress towards it. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, I always welcome your comments and questions and uh, remember, progress, not perfection, is what's important here. So until the next video, be well.